So yesterday we collected seaweed from the beach from high shore and low shore and today we're going, we're going to, to um, test the pigments in each of them to test the amount of light that they absorb. Because they should absorb different, different amounts and different types of light from the different water levels that they're used to. We're adding acetone yeah. to the seaweed samples so then it will break down the membranes and stuff so then the pigments will come out when we put it into the centrifuge. When we put it into the centrifuge, all of the pigments should separate and the chlorophyll should be in, on its own compared to the rest of it. So then we can pipette it out, put it into this, and then that's when we can check the wavelengths that it absorbs. We've centrifuged our samples, so all of the pigments should be separate from it. And right now we're blanking this spectrophotometer to make sure that it's set to the right wavelength. So you just put blank um, curvet in with just acetone in it and that will just pass all of the light through so then that's set. So when you put one that has coloured acetone in from the pigment, it will know that it's changed absorbance. This will tell us the amount of wavelength that the pigment in the algae has absorbed. So it'll tell us um, which of the chlorophylls is like the most active in it. We found kind of what we were expecting, more absorption happened from our low shore samples than the high than shore. The high shore. Yeah. This means that um, certain species that are more adapted to absorb more red light rather than blue will stay further up the shore because they survive better in that environment compared to the ones that will absorb the blue light, they will stay further down the shore so they keep them separate as species. Everything has to be done very specifically and, and very precisely. Yeah. And when it's not, that kind of throws off the entire result that you're going to get from that sample. It's made us kind of take things as they are, like we arrived at the beach and we were like, oh, okay, so we need to take this specific species, whereas before we weren't knowing, we weren't quite sure which species we we're going to choose. And then during this, there are a lot of things that we had to kind of adapt our method to accommodate the things that we weren't that expecting. Went yeah. We're in the labs quite a few times, and I think by designing our own experiment, it'll help in the future for when we do like individual stuff by ourselves. It'll give us the skills that we need to conduct experiments individually.